Chapter 7, Section 4, Torque and Simple Machines. What is torque? Torque is any factor that causes a rotation for an arm around an axis of rotation. Force or force component should be perpendicular to the arm. The more the force, the more the torque, the less the distance, the less the torque. If there was no distance, meaning that the distance equals to zero meters, this means that there is no torque even if there was a force. Now, the formula of torque is torque equals to force times distance times sine theta. The F stands for the force, which is measured in newtons. The D stands for the arm length or distance, which, stands, uh, which measures in meters. The theta is the component of an angle between the force and the arm, meaning the force and the distance. And the unit is newton dot meters. Remember that or recall that before we took that work equals to force times distance times cosine theta. So the only difference between the torque and the work is the cosine and the sine. Now the sine of torque. Force is positive. Uh, so when the force is positive, it's counterclockwise. When the force is negative, it's clockwise. Now the cat flap door. Now in the first situation, we have that, like for example, here, first of all, here uh, over here, the axis, we have the axis. And then we have the flap door. And then the force, this is the force of the cat exerting it on the flap door. And this is the distance of the flap door. Now, in the first situation, let's say the cat didn't do anything yet. So the, the, the angle is 90 degrees and the distance is 10 meters. Okay? And now, in the second situation, the, four, uh, like the, uh, the cat pushes the flap door. So, the distance, let's say, of the door is 5. The angle is 60 degrees and the force is equal to 10 newtons. So it's going to be 10 times 5 times sine 60, which is 43.3 newtons dot meters. Don't forget the unit. Now, the third situation, now let's say the cat like pushed it more, pushed the flat door more. So the distance is, let's say, 5, the force is 10, the angle is 30 degrees, and the sine theta, which is 30 degrees. So it's going to be 10 times 5 times sine 30. So as you can see, in each situation, the angle is decreasing. It's becoming from 90 to 60 to 30 degrees. So the angle is decreasing, so the torque is also decreasing. So let's say here, like 43.3 till not 25. So it's decreasing. Okay. Now let's do some practices. Okay. Um, now, let's uh, first of all, they're saying that. Find the magnitude of the torque ex uh, produced by a 3.0 newtons or 3 newtons force applied to a door at a perpendicular distance of 0 0.25 meters from the hinge. So the given is, the givens are the force, which is 3 newtons. And then we have the distance, which is 0 0.25. They didn't give, the, give us the angle, so it's 90 degrees, or we could just say 1. Okay, so let's apply the formula, force times distance times sine theta. Okay, so torque equals to force, which is 3, times 0 0.25, and then times 1. And then torque equals to 0 0.75. And then don't forget the unit, newtons, diameter. Now, second. A simple pendulum consists of 3 kilogram point mass hanging at the end of a 2 meters long light string that is connected to a pivot point. Now, in A, they're saying, calculate... The magnitude of the torque due to gravitational force around this pivot point when the string makes a five angle with the vertical, uh, five uh, degrees angle with the vertical. So let's take out the givens. First of all, here they gave us that the mass is three grams, uh, kilograms, sorry, and then the distance is 2.0. Now here they gave us that the angle is five degrees. Now as you see here, something is missing, which is the force. Now recall that Fg equals to mass times uh, the g, or we could say mass times 9.8. So here the mass is 3, so 3 times 9.8, which is going to be 29.4 newtons, which this is going to be our force. So let's apply the formula. Force times distance times sine theta, which is going to be 5. Torque equals 2. Force, which is 29.4, okay, times the 2, and then times the sine, 5 degrees. And the answer will be torque equals to 5.12 newtons dot meters and don't forget the unit again now in B they're saying repeat this calculation but for an angle of 15 uh, degrees now here they just change the angle so the givens will be the same except the angle so let's see we know that now the force that is it's like 29.4 newtons and now the angle here it's going to be 15 degrees and the distance is 2 meters so let's apply the formula it's going to be t equals 2 um, the force times the displacement and then sine theta so, 
torque will be force, which is 29.4 times 15, and then times the sine 29.4 times 2, then times the sine, which is 15 degrees. So torque will be, it'll be 15.21 newtons dot meters. This is the torque, and don't forget the unit. Now, in number three, if the torque required to loosen a nut on the wheel of a car has a magnitude of point. Uh, uh, zero uh, newtons dot meters. Obviously, here this is the torque because they gave you two hints. They're saying if the torque and the second uh, hint is that they gave you the unit, which is newtons dot meters. So we have the givens till now. It's the torque, which is forty dot. Uh, sorry, forty newtons dot meters. This is the torque, and they gave you the distance, which is thirty centimeters. Remember that we have to change this because and recall the prefixes of deci centimeter and the, uh, for the centi it's. Uh, uh, times 10 to the power of negative 2. So 30 times 10 to the power of negative 2 is going to be 0 0.3 meters, and this will be the new distance. So we're going to apply the formula. And here they didn't give you the theta, so it's 90 degrees, or you could just say 1. Okay, and then here's sine 90 degrees. So torque, which is 40, equals to the force. Okay, the, sorry, we don't know the force. Yeah, equals to the force. We don't know it. And the distance is 0 0.3, and then here 1. So we're going to divide this by 0 0.3. So force will be 40 divided by 0 0.3. The answer will be, for, uh, the force will be 133.3 newtons. This is the answer. Now, a bridge has a weight of, a bridge has a weight of 20 newtons is hung up by a force of 5 newtons at an angle of 20 degrees from the horizontal, 4 meters away from the axis of rotation, and supported by another force at the beginning of the bridge, 8 newtons at 30 degrees from the normal, find the torque net. So here we need to find the torque net. So we're going to draw, first of all, so let's practice drawing this. So this is the bridge. And then this is the axis for rotation. This is the axis. Now, so here, let's say this is like the distance is like the whole distance is ten. And then let's say half of this, so it's going to be here five meters, and then here five meters. So let's say this is half, and then we are going to do like so because they said they want four. So one, two, three, four. So this is the thing that we want. So we're going to apply the normal force over here. And then the um, the the force will be five newtons. First of all, we're going to do that, and then the it's going to be five newtons. And here, the angle will be twenty degrees. And then we have here. Remember that this is FG, and this is the second torque, and this will be the third torque, and this will be the first torque which they are saying here at the beginning. So we're going to do another normal force over here. So Fm. And then we're going to do that. And here the, uh, the force is 8 newtons and the angle is 30 degrees. And this is the first torque. So let's find, first of all, for the force, uh, first torque. Now remember that we said that the uh, here, it is, um, this is the third torque. So the second torque has the negative value of the force. So the force, uh, the first torque is force times dis, uh, distance times sine theta. So the force is eight newtons, and remember now here the the sine will be sixty. Now why? Here's the theta, so it's going to be ninety times uh, sorry minus thirty. So it's going to be 60 degrees. So we're going to subtract the 90 with the 30 degrees. So 90 degrees minus 30 degrees equals to 60 degrees. So it's going to be 8 times the distance, which is 10 meters, and then times the sine, which is 60 degrees. Because we subtracted the 90 minus 30, and then we got 60. So the answer for this will be 41.5. Newton's dot meter, and don't forget the units. So this is for, uh, for the uh, first torque. Now let's find for the second torque. 
let's find for the second torque. Now here the value of the force will be negative times the distance times the sine theta. So here the force will be negative 20 times the 5 times the sine 90. As you can see here, so it's going to be 90. Okay, so the answer will be negative 100. So in sine 90, which is one, uh, 1, and here 20 times 5 is 100, and we have the negative value, so it's going to be negative 100. So the second torque is negative 100 newtons dot meter. Now the third torque, which is going to be this, uh, sorry, yeah, it's going to be this one. So it's going to be force times distance times sine theta. So it's going to be 5, the 5, and here the value is, yeah, okay, so 5, 4, so it's going to be 6.84, okay, let me see the calculation. Newton's dot meter. Here the value will also be negative. So the force will also be negative. So now here this is positive, so it's counter clockwise. Here it's clockwise and then clockwise. Okay. Now, as you can see here, we have this drawing. Now, this is the FG. Okay. So, first of all, let's just do this all over again and then draw it and explain it. So, let's say we have here. And then this is, this will be the FG, which is MG, which is mass times G, which is 9.8 uh, or negative 9.8. But in this occasion, it's going to be 9.8. And then we have the tension force. And then we have another thing up here. Now, the here over here, this will be the other tension force. So tension force 1, and then we say tension force 2. And don't forget that this is also the FG, which is the M. Um, G. Okay, and now here the angle is 5 degrees. So if the angle over here is 5 degrees, here will also be 5 degrees because this is the rule of the parallel um, lines. Okay? Now, now we're, uh, this is the F. Now we're going to do a simple changes. Now we're going to erase this. Now we're gonna flip it and change this to now it's gonna be like that and it's gonna be replaced by FG sine theta and here it will be FG cosine theta. Now why? Now this is causing the rotation and this equals to the tension force. Now a machine is any device that transmits or modifies force usually by changing the force applied to an object and there's two types, simple machines and complex machines. Now, simple machines are six types, lever, pulley, inclined plane, wheel and axle, wedge and screw. The purpose is to change the direct the purpose of the simple machines is to change direction and magnitude of the input force. So here are the six uh, different types of simple machines, the lever, inclined plane, uh, the wheel and axle, wedge, pulleys, and screw. And the mechanical advantage is the output force over the input force, or F out of uh, F out. Um, um, the the F out over the F in. So when she like opens it, it's the input, and then when it opens, it's the output. So um, this is the end till now. 
So thank you for watching and I hope you understand. Thank you.